Hi, Trinity Fitness Warriors. I'm Jason Palmozano, founder and CEO of Trinity Fitness. I'm here at Trinity Fitness Beachside, and this is where I train classes. For those of you new joining Trinity Fitness, Trinity Fitness is a faith-based, Christ-centered gym where everyone is welcome. Our vision is healthy people inside and out in every community across America. And I just wanna take a moment and thank all the Trinity Fitness Warriors for hanging in there with us during this crazy time of the coronavirus. I can tell you that as a Trinity Fitness staff, our entire staff is committed to providing you with the most value possible for your Trinity Fitness membership. And again, thank you for hanging in there with us. Part of that value is providing online devotionals and battles every day. So are you ready? Here's today's devotion. All right, I've got a question for you. Has there ever been a time in your life when you've been faced with what seems like an impossible situation? In my mind, I think of the young couple that's trying to have kids and they go to the doctor and the doctor says, that's not possible for you. What a heartache that would be. Maybe it's the single dad or the single mom raising kids, trying to hold their house together. And it seems like an impossible situation. Your work, maybe there's not enough money at the end of the month. I, I know I've been there. Have you ever been there? And it seems like an impossible situation. How am I gonna pay these bills? Raising a teenager. I mean, I think you and I, if we were to sit eye to eye, we can name some impossible situations. And it reminds me of an impossible situation in the scriptures. The disciples came to Jesus. It was getting late in the day. And they said, Jesus, send this crowd away so that they can still have time to go get something to eat. The Bible says it was a crowd of about 5,000 men. Now, when you add women and children in there, the estimates could be upwards toward 15,000. And the disciples said, send them away. Let them get something to eat. And Jesus turned to them and he said, no, don't send them anywhere. You give them something to eat. And the disciples looked and they said, we have five loaves and two fish. What is that among so many? It, it, that's an impossible situation. Jesus said, bring those loaves and fish to me. What did he do? He gave thanks and he blessed it. And a miracle happened. The Bible says those people had more than enough to eat. They were fully satisfied and there were baskets filled left over. What happened? Well, they invited Jesus into the impossible situation. That's the key for me and you. That's the encouragement of this Devo today. Whatever impossible situation you might find yourself in today or next week or next month because it's going to happen, the key for you and I is to invite Jesus into our impossible situation. What happens? He turns our, imp our, our impossible situation is his opportunity to reveal his glory. And I love that. And that's what happened that day. It reminds me of this scripture right here, Matthew 19, 26. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. My battle cry for you today, all things possible. Because with God, all things are possible. Let's pray. Papa, in this moment, we invite you into our impossible situations because you make all the difference. When we invite you in, you take the word impossible and you throw it out of our vocabulary. And tonight, uh, today, we confess that we need you. We love you. Come into our lives. We invite you into our impossible situation. Thank you for making all the difference. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now go crush that battle.